everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do a review on this guy right here. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Genius Daily Mo Moisturizer. You might be thinking, wow, that's kind of weird for you to be doing a review on a moisturizer. But I have lots to say. I don't know where I was going with that. I have lots to say about this. It's gotten a lot of hype um, on social media. It was in a lot of like PR packages. Is this the one where they had to like knock the egg and it opened? I'm pretty sure that was L'Oreal. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as many of you do know, I do have normal skin. It's definitely more on the no normal skin. Occasionally um, dry skin, but for the most part it's normal. And I did actually do a whole skincare routine here on my channel, which I will post in the cards for you to go check out. But uh, I wanted to try this guy out because I ran out of almost all of my moisturizers that I have been building up since I'm on a no-buy. Uh, that was pretty cool that I finished them all, uh, but I did have to eventually go and buy this. So, a lot of influencers talk about this, so I definitely wanted to try it out. And I have a lot of thoughts to say. I'm going to go over my pros and my cons on this product, so if you want to hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. I do have my notes written down on my little notepad here, which I don't know about you guys, but I use this on the daily. It is the best app in my phone. It has like a lot of passwords and stuff like that and addresses and all the important stuff, you know? Anyway, back to the review. So we're going to go over the pros first. So let me show you what this, I don't know if I can actually show you, but you can kind of maybe see. Um, does have a gel-like formula. So right off the bat, I like that about it because that is my favorite type of moisturizer. I love the Clinique Moisture Surge, um, and I'll go over that at the end of the video, but um, you can tell right off the bat that there is a slight glow too, which that is one of the claims of this product, for the normal one at least. So. The two pros right off the bat are that it has a gel-like formula, which is my favorite kind of a moisturizer, and it is very glowy, like super glowy, which is so nice for normal skin. The next thing that is a pro is that it is very lightweight. Like, I could, I don't really know about moisturizers being heavy now that I'm talking about this, um, but this one for sure is definitely lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything. It is a little bit tacky, but that is because of the glycerin, which I love that it has glycerin in it because you can actually use it as a primer if you wanted to, and the makeup will stick to your foundation. The makeup will stick to your foundation. The uh, Foundation will stick to the primer, <laughs> that's what I meant to say, and it's just really nice. I'm actually wearing this moisturizer today. I've been wearing it for about two weeks straight. 3.04 fluid ounces. That is a lot of product. I mean, it's almost the size of my hand. That's kind of a weird comparison, but if you look at it that way, it's really, really, well, I don't really have big hands. Anyway, 3.0 ounces is a lot of product. So this will last a very long time, which is good because one of my cons, which we'll sort of get into now, is that it was $15.99. However, since it was $15.99 and it's going to last you a long time, it's like a pro and a con in one because, like, you're not going to have to repurchase $15.99 every month. It'll last you a long, long time because you just need a little bit. The pro that I have before I actually move into the cons is that it does have a pump which you could probably see, and a lot of people like pumps, like me. Okay, so the cons, like I mentioned, it is rather expensive, and I think $15.99 was on the cheaper side that this can run for. Um, I got it at my local grocery store, so I my local grocery store usually runs things a little bit cheaper, but that's just something to keep in mind, especially for drugstore. I feel like moisturizers are not cheap at the drugstore, Nothing is really cheap at the drugstore, but anyway, it does have like a strong scent and I have a terrible nose. I've been stuffy for the last week. It's been really rough and my allergies are really strong right now. So right now I can't smell it, 
like it's been on my hand. I can't really smell anything right now. But when I first used this two weeks ago, I was like, whoa, what is that smell? I don't know what it is. It almost feels like sunscreeny, sort of. Something that's unpleasant to me. I'm not exactly sure. There's no sunscreen in it, so I don't know if it can be that. But it's just something to keep in mind that it is a very strong scent. But it does go away once you put your makeup on and all that stuff. So that's a definitely a con for me. And then also it does on the website have a 72 hour claim. Wow, I totally don't, do not believe that because, um, like my skin, like I can't really feel it anymore. It's just gone with the Clinique moisturizer, which is what I wanted to say about that. Um, that one sinks into my skin. It lasts for all day long. This one just lasts upon application, at least for me. And I think it's just because it is so lightweight. So. Those are all my thoughts on this product, this moisturizer. Overall, I am very happy with my purchase. There were just a couple of things that I was unhappy with, and I wanted to share those things with you. So if you enjoyed this review and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. I would really greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more reviews like this, I would be happy to do them. You can definitely leave your recommendations down below. Um, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of reviews on there, so... You'll want to follow me there for sure. Makeup with Lisa I. And I think that's it for me. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.